Well, it's known as the greatest outdoor show on earth, and yesterday officials said the show must go on. The stampede will take place despite concerns over the current water crisis in Calgary. Joining us now is our travel expert, Claire Newell. Claire, good morning. And the local state of emergency expected to last another five weeks there in Calgary. So what is your advice to anyone who's booked, to travelers who've already got airfare and accommodation for this year's stampede? So I'm sure that people with tickets are so excited to be going, but locals there are going to be worried. They're already following such tight water restrictions. So if you are planning to go, please make sure that you follow like a local. So things like watching how much water you use when you brush your teeth, three minute showers, fewer flushes of toilets, and don't do your laundry there. Make sure you take it back with you. This was a big reminder that things can change on a dime when you travel. So a takeaway would also be that for those who had cancellation insurance, they would have been okay in this or very flexible tickets and allowed to have um, to get an exchange or change dates and things. But for those going, just be, live like a local while you're there. Great advice. All right. Service Canada, Claire, is also recommending people have a valid passport before booking a trip and have just issued some tips ahead of the summer travel season. Yeah, always a good idea to make sure that you've got a valid passport before you hit book on anything or hand over your credit card. Um, right now, the, the times to get a renewed passport or get a new passport are pretty much on track to what they were pre-COVID, so about 20 days. And that are, those are business days, not including mailing time if you're mailing it in or going in in person. If you need it quicker, you can get a 10-day um, but you would have to go in and you can get urgent or express. You have to look and make sure that the passport offices offer that. But I know my own brother went in on Friday last week and he's picking it up today. So it can be done. A couple of other reminders. When you are booking, make sure that you check the validity on your passport because you may need uh, three, four or even six months validity to visit a country from the date you're actually leaving it. So make sure that you've got that validity. And also remember that a damaged passport may not be accepted by country. So even if you've got some water damage, you've let it dry and you think it's going to be OK, it may not be accepted. You may need to renew it. Okay. All right. Uh, up next, and we're going to put this under the category, believe it or not, there is a new <laughs> report, Claire, that says the number of lost and or mishandled luggage items is actually going down. OK, it is going down and it is a bit of a believe it or not, but the numbers do speak mm -hmm. for themselves. So in 2023, we saw the number. So per 1000 bags go down from 7.6 to 6.9, which doesn't seem like a lot but it is an improvement. But if you take a look, obviously after COVID, the, the luggage situation was just abysmal, but things have really improved. There's more frontline workers and there's better use of technology. So from 20, 2007 to 2023, the number of passengers overall has gone up 111% and the number of mishandled bags has gone down 63%. So if you don't want to fight for the overhead bin space and you've been wondering when should I actually start to check luggage, I think the numbers are more on your side now. Okay, all right. Uh, a new survey on Disney and its impact on family finances says nearly 50% of parents are going into debt for the trip due to rising prices at the park. Yeah, this is a huge number and I don't see Disney parks going down in price anytime soon, but this looked at Americans and um, that's right, about 50% go into debt. Most of them said that they get kind of into trouble when they're buying in-flight food or in-park food and beverage. I mean, if you're a family of four and you're buying even water, it's like $6 a bottle. So make sure you take refillable water bottles and grab some granola bars to take with you. But the even um, crazier number was that 60% of those surveyed who said that they went into debt said that they didn't regret the decision. So it's this odd rite of passage that so many of us feel that it's a Disney experience. And I think it's because that Disney magic, you only have your kids for so long. It's, it's kind of a small window. So I think they want to see the magic in their kids' eyes. So they're doing it for kids 18 yeah. and under. Well, it's a big bucket list item for a lot of families, as you just mentioned, yeah. for those reasons. But uh, that's an eye-popping number. Nearly half of families mm -hmm. going into debt to go to the uh, Disney uh, theme parks. Claire, we got to leave it there for this morning. Appreciate it, as always. Thanks so much. Thanks so much.